And hey, 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 boys and girls, we're back with episode two of Necromancer. We are still laying siege, trying to destroy this place. Order soldiers, uh, lead our soldiers again. Now, this guy's staying alive. This is what's screwing me here. I know, I know, I know. You say, why can't you stay alive, Big B? I suck. I suck. <laughs> Well, it's not letting me use my meteor well, shell. You really have two ladders to go up. I'm getting funneled into the fifth one. Alright. So I actually can't use any of my spells in a siege, so that's certain too. It'd be really nice to use my meteor shell. Get out of my way, skeleton! Alright, let's get in here. I have no shield. All I have is my magic wand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, boys, you strike me. That's a uh, Harrison Ford was in that one, wasn't he? I think so. The that general. Was a long time ago. Yeah, dude, that was a badass movie, dude. That was a crazy twist at the end. You're like, what? Yeah, the whole idea is they these kids to fight a war, but they tell them it's a game, and the people they're controlling are real people. Yeah. <laughs> they end up doing exactly what's needed to win the first try because they're going to get one shot. My Talk about yeah, yeah, dude, he knew exactly yeah, what that, we were that, talking about. That's that book cool. was the shit. I fucking love that book. Yeah, man, it was so fucking good. Oh, yeah. 
The movie, the movie isn't that bad either. Like, obviously the book is so much better, but the the movie's pretty, pretty, pretty. Yeah, they did do a good job with the movie. Uh, I felt like after reading the book and watching the movie, that like I knew more of what was going on, and I just like followed it. Like how, like how his brother and sister were also geniuses. Yeah. And they pretty much took over the took over the world. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's in the books, huh? So I guess there's a lot more for the books. Yeah. Not, not all of them are or something. I forget. Yeah, there is... I think there's like two other books. Yeah. There's, there's one that's, uh, that's a sequel to Ender's game, but it's like he discovers a new alien race. Um, oh wow! But they don't want to. They don't want to kill it this time. It's it's like a it's like a cute cuddly race too. But, oh yeah. Uh, he do, he doesn't he doesn't want to destroy them like they destroyed the the fucking bug people. Yeah. Even though even though he he saved that race with the queen and helped her find a new colony or whatever, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I think the third book is about one of his friends from their perspective. I can't remember. I didn't, I didn't read the third book, but when I remember, like, the premises, it's like, it's about one of his friends and not him. Okay. I think The Giver and Ender's Game were two of the most interesting books that I read when I was a kid. Uh, like I remember the most. They, uh, did you read The Giver? I yeah, they made a movie about it like, I don't know, like eight years ago or something like that, ten years ago. Kind of Dude, the these cities are really hard to kill. Out. It's like the idea is everybody lives in a colorless world and kind of like... Oh, I, I know they made a movie of that. I just never read the book. Yeah. Yeah, the book was really good. Those two, like Ender's Game and that, are uh, like... When you put those two together, it's like, what the fuck am I... <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping they make uh, more movies for it. Well, I mean, I guess they've waited so long now, those kids are going to be, like, too old. Mmm. End of March. March 30th. Finally. I'm actually playing a, a mod for Mountain Blade right now. Mountain Blade, Bannerlord, Necromancer. I'm a Necromancer. I summon the dead and I'm trying to take over everyone. Kill them all. Nice kill, dude. My skeleton warrior actually killed somebody. It's a miracle! So, bitch! That's where they're spawning. So cool, man. And the modding community, dude, I love modders. 
How do monitors do all this crap? They take the time to make like a whole nother game and they and they don't get no money out of it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So why do it? Because we love it. Sucks I can't use my spells inside a inside the castle. So, uh, so guys, for this, I mean, there has to be a different way somehow to make. I don't know. It's just kind of interesting. Sieges. I mean, these, especially if they have four thousand and I have four thousand, these sieges are just gonna last forever. Archers hit me! I think my whole army is made up of archers. Oh, I have one footman. No cavalry. Get them, boys. I kind of want to get in there and fight, but I kind of don't. I've been taking over uh, little towns and stuff. Yeah, I'm trying to sandwich them. I want them to follow me. So they can have to fight these guys. And they'll start... My reinforcements will start hacking them from behind. That'll be like one of the quickest ways to kill them. Come on. Come on. Follow me. Don't be scared. Come on, you little Nord... 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 Bastards. There we go. There we go. He's gonna stay right there. Kinda looks like it, little pricks. I think they're I think they know my strategy, B Ron. I'm smarter than you, Bugby. Damn it. Damn it. They're Skynet. <laughs> See I wanted to get closer to this hole right here. Mm. Hey Google! Google. Are you Skynet? Oh, <laughs> Can you hear that? Yeah. yeah. Skynet hates people. And they're making a shield wall like Vikings would do. That's pretty cool. Watch. Oh, Ow, they're shooting the shit out of me. Ow, 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 ow. Oh. I tried. They're just gonna stay in a shield wall. Little pricks. Why do they have to be so smart? Why do they have to be like Skynet? Charge! 
break the shield wall! Show these Vikings that the skeletons are stronger than them! Just me, just uh, attrition and like enemies. Ah, I killed 260. Then I killed 170. Abandon siege. Okay. Let's corrupt this land. Turn some of their heroes into mime. Corrupted land there. Inventory of 7,000. A lot more money. Let's release everybody. Release. Go raid, my friends. Enjoy. Let's go back down to the Dark Tower. Oh, Chris. Chris. Hey, B-Ron. Did, did I tell you I love it when you call me? Cause it's like all those times that I'd be screaming, hey, where's Byron at? And you're in the channel and uh, you don't respond. And I'm like, God damn. Where's this where's dude at? I'm not there. I'm not there. <laughs> but now it makes me go AFK in 15 minutes. So now you'll know I'm not there. Oh, man. You know what? I think just for you, we should change it. But that's, that's going to a high five decision between me and the boss here. You and the boss? Who's the boss? I'm the boss. Uh, I'll jump. Oh. Yeah. What? What? The Byron is sad that he gets disconnected after 15 minutes because he's not there looking. There we go. Well. Sounds like oh, a good me some good me. soldiers. <laughs> oh, see, look, look what happened, bro. Nice. Okay, now I gotta look at all these guys. <laughs> oh, fuck. Charisma. Don't you love how the military changes how you interact with people? <laughs> Does Dude, it? I love it. It makes it so simple. Like, it's, you know. it's like, you know, normally when anybody asks for help and you really don't want to, you you try you try to help them anyways. Then after being in the military, it's like, oh, sounds like uh, you could go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How many days? You help, you help where you, like, know you can, but if, like, if it's, like, petty or if it's, like, fixable on the other end it, like it, it's just yeah you, you answer some of this part like that and it just makes it kind of like sounds like yo ass can go do it your damn self yeah <laughs> so, i just hired 250 humans byron they wanted to join me Cha oh yeah get you some boy Beach, get off of me! You know who I am? I am Necromancer! Nice, we killed them all. Get some trainer skills. Yeah. Is he still?
still alive? Oh my god, they just took off his head! <laughs> nice. What was that, bro? Welcome back. Did you beat the game? What game? Steal the bitches. Beat it, right? <laughs> oh. Yes. Can you beat Anybody that game? Anybody wanna come play some small game? Queen Cheese is always up for a rush with jeeps and like flamethrowers, I think, right? Flamethrowers. I haven't done that really uh, recently. I haven't been playing vanilla much. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. You've been playing a lot of the Red Storm. Yeah, since since Mr. Chris equalized the speed on all the uh, units, like yeah, the speed cap. That's good. Actually, I like that. I love the flamethrower rush, though. They're so easy to destroy. Flamethrowers? Yeah, you only get two, though, or four, so... Yeah, but it's the fact that the jeeps have 105 kilometers per hour, so you can get to the points faster than the jeep. Oh, yeah. But all you gotta do is remember before it and your pants are gonna do is a red and the jeep that you have, which annihilates the fucking... Um, and I like the fucking uh French thing to have smoke. So you can try to smoke them off. Yeah, I'm gonna cover anything. Well my guys kill somebody. It gives you an early advantage that you know you're you're really just throwing your points away. Not really, because you can't hold a ground with them. You can try to force the book range engagement, you can try to micro them. Very, uh, yeah, it doesn't work that well on 1v1. Oh, no, not on 1v1, not at all. Uh, in a 3v3, it works fine. In 1v1, you just go, what, 17? Yeah, er everybody tries to do that in 1v1s, like, they just throw their points away because they get annihilated pretty damn bad. Yeah, that's, that's a 1v1. Go on a 1v1, nice. one, one, oh. one, take 17. I'm having a whole lot of fun using the uh, Maverick income with the SS. Okay. So I want to do one go to deck now. It's pretty nice. Maverick is my stack. I need to get. Let's see here. Let's pick somebody way over here. Sorry. And one to one, all you go is like Vanguard. Let's or go. Right here. Hmm. Pretty much. As long as you get a lot of kills early on, then typically they won't have to be able to work out. Mm. It just has a snowball effect. Even if you're going. Especially if you're going to get someone who's juggernaut, like a juggernaut income in one v ones, will just get you destroyed. <laughs> like the game will be over before you even get to C phase. And typically, if you get to C phase, there's like AT guns camping respawn. Kill them all. One ones are over pretty quick too, usually. Yeah. I also noticed that yesterday because I, um, I played a match in a 1v1 that I knew I was going to lose. Like, I just quit once I got to C phase because there was no point. So instances and like, C as, text, as soon as it turned to where um, the guy had the same amount of points as me, I just quit because there was no way I was going to take anything down.
Also, some of the decks they made were more for you know, just the divisions that were there, not necessarily for balance of divisions as well. Oh, nice. Some divisions were made to be worse than others, basically. Yeah, like the British division. Dude, those guys suck. And you throw in like a comet. One of the best divisions in the game. Talking about in Steel Division? Yeah, an SD2. What? I've tried to use them, dude. Their tanks are so slow. Not very strong. Yeah, they're an infantry support tank that could still frontally kill Panthers. Mm. One thing I really like about them is their 17 pounders. Oh, yeah, those ones don't have Love the 17 pounders. Yeah. They get still. They, they kill Panthers frontally. Not me. I have to, I'll have to check out the support tank because I haven't seen that. And also, their AT guns are overpowered. Like all the British AT guns and American AT guns are overpowered. Yeah, that's the only thing I like about the light them. Talk again, they, they just shoot way too fast. For some reason you're staticky, bro. Yeah, I don't know. Just interference. It happens. I still love you though. I won't hide your static against you. Just keep producing great videos. <laughs> oh, I need my second computer so I can start recording my Steel Division games, man. It's pissing me off. Oh, shit. Turn this back up. For some reason, Steel Division 2 lags me out. Yeah, yeah, I need... It looks like uh, for everything I want to do, it's going to be about twelve hundred. Yeah, new motherboard. Yeah. 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 I mean, upgrading your motherboard and processor is a lot easier than building a second computer specifically for streaming. It that, definitely that is, is. Definitely is. New computer. Not necessarily. Depends on the case we have it now. Oh, I got a beautiful case. What can it fit an EATX? Yeah, sure. Oh, well, no, I'm gonna buy a new case. I mean, I have a whole list of. Where is my list? I'll tell you everything I'm getting. Okay. So, I'm gonna make a little bit more money. I made a whole list just what I wanted for my computer. Or did Brian make the list? No, I actually went online and made the list. Mm -mm. Well, shit. I don't know where my list is. I'm going to have to make another one. But yeah, I found some really cool stuff. I'm pretty much going to get everything except for the, uh, except for the, um, Video card. I have a really good video card, so good there. Corrupt the slime, boys. Ah, uh, yes. It looks like Russia just delivered a whole boatload of T62s and BRM1Ks to Syria. Nice. Fresh off the boat. Byron. What? I'm waiting for that ob obligatory uh, chant that you do. <laughs> it's a fortunate day. Why? The Syrian Arab army just got reinforcements. You're supposed to say something when that happens. Oh, shit. I don't condone more. <laughs> yeah, exactly that. Yeah. <laughs> that one time he doesn't say it, yeah. Yeah, right. That's funny. Aloha snack bar. Aloha snack bar. <laughs> yeah. I fucking love that video. Destroy this place. Do it. it must be destroyed. <laughs> All right, B Ron. We have some better troops. Maybe this time we'll be able to destroy it. Oh shit! No, we're not. I'm scared. I think it's 
Wheeling away. That's what it's gonna be the best thing about Better World 2. Is you actually have like catapults, siege engines, trebuchets, rams to knock down gates. It's gonna be beautiful. Beautiful. Come back here, cover me. I'll go up there and whoop their ass, and then y'all come in. That's what throws me off because they have skeletons in there. It's pretty funny. No, no, Call of Call of Duty. Remember that game we all played, Chris? There's Chris still in here. That was a fun game. Call of Duty. All right, it was it was the uh, the modern day Men of War. Oh, Call to Arms. Call to Arms. Yeah, that was fun. We need to start playing that one again. I've actually been seeing some people play it on YouTube. We're gonna play. Y'all ready for Crusader Kings three? Like, like, years. Oh, there's no, Jerry Pease Trees coming out this year. Yeah, but you can't go. Why should I, uh, someone else do the work back in the world? <laughs> The, the problem with the modding of those games is every time that you want to do something, you can't because 
they actually stop you from doing it because they're going to kind of release a DLC that does it. Yeah. Like, uh, That's where Total War like, makes all their money is their DLCs. Or the air game, like creating multiple air wings instead of having to create one at a time. You know, like, this is the fuel thing, right? They took the fuel out, they just had oil in the game for a long time. Now there's fuel just like Black Ice, or Hearts of Iron 3, excuse me. Uh, Hearts of Iron 3 lets you use aircraft to attack ground units without engaging in ground combat with other units. Mm -hmm. You can just do like prediction attacks. You can't do that in Hearts of Iron 4. But they'll let you do it later, I guarantee you. You just have to pay for it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so it's just like, fuck, man. Like, I love the game. Don't waste like five years of my life. I'll do it on my own. Oh, Banner Lord T wasted 10 years of my life just wishing and praying it was coming. <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun. I'll we'll definitely play that around here. As as I'm, playing, I'm playing Mountain Blade right now. Uh, how many people from the place can you go allow? How many what? How many people can play in Mountain Blade at the same time? There's still a lot. Of, there's still a huge community playing Mountain Blade. Okay. How many people do you think can play at the same time? Let's play Mountain Blade. Banner, the one you're talking about hasn't came out yet. It's multiplayer, right? Uh, well, the yeah. Well, I mean, they're all multiplayer battles, but the campaign is not multiplayer. Right. So that's what I'm playing right now. Is the campaign? Okay. Yeah, I love the campaigns. They'll definitely release a Napoleonic version of that. It won't be long. Like, you know, some dude's gonna buy a case of Red Bulls and sit there <laughs> and code it all in like a weekend. Yeah. Just watch. But, uh, no, World War II Online, man. You should be playing that and streaming that as soon as we get back online. Oh, yeah. I've we'll played, I, I played that before. That's the shooter. Yeah. And, yeah, and you, go, you, you can go into general mode and actually like control stuff from your phone. Interesting, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, I used to play the game. Yeah, there's a general mode. Oh, go ahead. So what do you, you log in to some phone app and you can do what? You can, uh, so when you're fighting, you actually, you're building up troops and you gotta move around on the, the world map, whatever. And in the general mode, that's that's where you can do it. You uh, you use your um, phone app, and you can move the troops that you've accumulated. I think you're talking about heroes in general. Oh, yeah. heroes and generals. Okay, so which one are y'all talking about? Heroes, heroes and generals is an instanced version of World War II Online with better graphics and less people. Ah, okay. That's what that is. World War II Online is one world. Everybody fights in the same world, and you like we could we could literally fit everybody in this Discord into one single cargo plane and have them drop over a town at the same time if we wanted to. Really? They'd fight in the same battle? Yes. Yeah. Okay. There's like aircraft, there's ships like destroyers, there's fucking tanks, huh. multi-crew tanks with your friends, there's AA guns, all the infantry. What, this is World War Two online. Yes. I'll have to Google that real fast. So I haven't played that one then. You might have played it once or twice. Just uh, I'm telling you about it because you're probably going to disappear in a month, and that'll be when we start, roughly, hardcore. Okay. But uh, you know, I've played that game since 2001 when it came out, and they're just. It, the game changed hands. The guy who played it for like just about as long as I have actually owns it, but he uh, hmm. and he's upgraded it. And the servers in my hometown, and uh, yeah, it's going to be 64 bit soon with the uh, multi-threading, and then the uh, the graphics are going to be improved. That's what always throws people off with the graphics every time. Okay. But yeah. the gameplay is like Men of War, like. What you can really? do in Men of War is like what you do as a first person in that game. Yeah. No way. You can hop in every yeah. Yeah, it's, it's the Men of War nice. of fucking first person shooters. Yeah. Okay. I just 
still don't know how to figure out how to take these castles. There's so much shit in them. Let's see here. I like stuff. I like fun. Yeah. Hmm. Just don't like the tacky. How many days left do I have? I don't even know how many days left I have. You know, I got a, I got a hunch. Uh oh, what's your hunch? hunch. Here, I'm gonna post this link from Wikipedia in one of these text channels here. Let me see which one it is. Probably military veterans chat. And then uh, let's see what I'm talking about here. So you see the map that's in there right now? Mm -hmm. I just posted something about. See what I'm talking about? I would be willing to bet money on this. <laughs> Let's just say 20 bucks. And what I think is going to happen is the uh, Syrian Arab army is going to push all the way through this province. And I think there's going to be some quote unquote border skirmishes with the actual Turks there. Because uh, Syria lost Hattay mm. during French rule, and it was given to the uh, the Turks to get them to turn on uh, Nazi Germany. Really? And it never happened. And it never happened. Mm. Yeah. So uh, I think this is the only opportunity in modern times. And it still matters, in my opinion. It was, it's like still fresh within a hundred years okay. that uh, there will be an army that's ready to advance to reclaim something like this. And I think this would be beneficial for Russia because they're looking for to fight Turkey without actually declaring war on them. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if the Syrians advance to reclaim land that was given away by an occupant French to themselves now then uh, yeah I think this is actually what's going to happen hmm. somebody tell me I'm wrong somebody tell me something else no sounds pretty legit yeah What do you think they're big brain queen cheese? Well, sorry, I was distracted. I was trying to say. <laughs> oh, you're playing it? Oh, he's trying to do it. Oh. Oh, 
Yes. when Raptor was playing. That one looks pretty cool. What? Uh, I got a cool video oh, wow. that will get you pumped for uh, playing Total War. Have you guys seen this guy named Zioman C? Mm. YouTube. 
pretty cool. He's this really nerdy looking white guy in New York. <laughs> and he, go he goes around speaking like perfect Chinese and like dialects that nobody really knows. And he, he like waits a long time so people start talking shit. Or like they try to hustle him or something. Oh yeah? <laughs> and then he just pops it out and they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> the reactions on their faces are so funny. <laughs> they're oh, priceless. Good. That's awesome. Server's down or something? I thought I'd get an e-bail, but... Oh, for World War II Online? Yes. So, the other guy I was trying to help out with this tonight, uh... Gin Pickled Yak. Yeah. He... It took him like an hour to get an email. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on with that, but, uh... If it doesn't give you the email, like, in about that amount of time... And, um, From the just... shop might take like an hour or two before he gets the email. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, one thing that you should do though is go up to the channel where it says community discord links and then find where it says World War II online access and join that one if you're not already in it. World War II access. Yeah. It's gonna be funny as fuck when we like show up in there as a force and we load up a 250 half track with a bunch of dudes and we tow like an air piece, like a bofer or whatever, and get a few panzers and roll in and then set up shop. Put some engineers, we dig trenches, put the fucking mortars in the trench, somebody drops some hammer plate. And we'll smoke the whole town and nobody will know what's happening. Nice. And we're going to find you. We'll stab them all the day. Yeah. No prisoners. No prisoners. We haven't built the camps. Nope. Sorry, guys. Try again next time. <laughs> no, 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 no. Damn it. These are so hard to take. This playthrough is depressing. <laughs> what playthrough are you watching? I'm playing uh, the Vite and Para campaign as the Seleucid Empire in Rome 2. Oh. But my empire is too strong and now I'm bored. Aww. Yeah. Well, that's why you need to play me. I'll, I didn't know you played. Uh, I'll play you in Rome 2. I love Total War games. There's that point of like critical mass. You like know when, when you're about to reach it. And there's like one or two battles that you just like need to win. And then after that, it's just like all downhill after that. Yeah, my problem is I made all the perfect political decisions to prevent all my satrapies as a Seleucid Empire from breaking away from me. Yeah. So now I have like 20 allies that if I ever go to war, they all join me and the enemy just gets steamrolled. <laughs> like, yeah. ridiculously oh, easily. <laughs> You're the allies in World War II. Like, like, June 45. But not only that, like, my armies are ridiculously powerful. <laughs> and my economy is ridiculously... I, I, I made, I made this Lucid Empire great again. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> I can make an 8,000 return and I could buy pretty much anything I want now. So it's like, eh. <laughs> and I already made the Egyptians a bitch. Because I already defeated them in war. And we're now to go to the settlements. So this was like World War II in 
1960, everyone just surrounded Japan and just like widgeted them out, you know? Yep. Not enough bonsai charges to win that. Fuck, I'm just gonna attack these people. Because why the fuck not? And I will not call my allies to help. I bet you won't. Oh, you did it. <laughs> Push it to the limits. Walk along the Richland and beat them. Keep selling for the amount of mustering enough guys. America sworn to mustering enough. I'm playing a 1v1. Someone just invited me. Nice. Rush him. Veteran C is useless in a 1v1, right? Like, um, depending. Uh, it's actually yeah, better in one. It gets better with some units, worse for others. AT guns, it's really good. What about basic shoots that the server? Completely fucking useless. Uh, yeah, okay. You know what, I like the better. The more you have, the better. Especially in 1v1s. Like, spam that shit out like it's, uh. I don't know. I guess that's it. I'm be able to beat anyone. Well, I got the big one behind here too. 45 units. So, so where's the Jackson? I just don't understand how to take freaking cities in this game. <laughs> What are you talking about? You don't need shield pipes. What game are you playing? Uh, I'm watching Helljumper stream, playing Total War, uh. Total War Rome 2. Destroy this place. I just need better tactics. There we go, I think that's what we do it now.
What the fudge? God, most American you ass kick. What was that? How's the scheme on TV? On a TV? TVP. Player vs. Player. Oh, really fucking good. <laughs> Got a little bit more this time. I cannot fucking kill one dude with a stupid stick. That's all I want to do is take a castle. Watching him play. Yes. Hey Chris, were you, did you ever play the uh, the Total War, where you could actually like uh, it was kind of like arcade modes, kind of where you got like three or four units and you fought Total everybody War else. Arena. Yeah. No, I mean, I saw it and I, I loaded it, but I didn't get into it. Oh man, Bob, Mabel, myself, Ekai, we played that like hardcore for a while, for, like three months straight. It was actually really fun. I was thinking about getting back into it. Yeah, that's a boy. Mm. 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 Mm.
Okay. Prisoner. Oh, it's pissing me off. I still don't know what to do, dude. I can't take a friggin' city. Yeah, it's crooked lips. Souls, I don't understand. Yeah. Get in there, boys. That's the one I think almost the last time.
through this wall. So. Come on. Get them skeletons! <laughs> I just know look at their legs. That is hilarious. Two hundred at a time. I don't even know how many days I have left. Destroy this place. Oh, more crossbows this time. Take this fucking town. 
Mm. There's gotta be an easier way to do this. Please, guys, if you know, let me know if you've played this mod before. It's driving me crazy. What mod are you playing? Necromancer for Mountain Blade. Oh, okay. Oh, this is gonna be a slot. Oh, yeah, Mountain Blade's amazing. Any of the mods are really fun. Ow, ow, ow. That's on right now. Everyone's loving it. Just pull each other. Uh, are we in Palestine? Are you excited, Byron? <laughs> what? Byron always gets Byron excited. It don't make any sense, Chris. Well. You said something about the Middle East, and so I was thinking you were getting excited about something. Well, he said lava and missiles, and I said, so are we in Palestine? Oh, 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 oh. We're in Turkey. Ooh. Close. Big B. What's up? You have to have already taken everything. I'm having a hard time finding a mechanical keyboard. Somebody would be willing to help me. I'm kind of retarded, I think. A mechanical keyboard? Yeah. Looking for a mechanical keyboard with more than two USB ports. Hmm. Oh, I just Yeah, I think I'm using a 7 pin. Yeah, I'd like it with, like, I have two now. It's just, I would like it to have, like, three or four, in all honesty, if I could it still be mechanical. I can't find any out there. I have no idea. I didn't know, I didn't know my keyboard had a USB on it. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's really helpful when you're using, like, it frees up a lot of port. Wait, what are you looking for? A mechanical keyboard that has the USB on it? One that has more than two USB ports on it, but a mechanical keyboard. Uh, good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Mine only even has one.
on it, dude. Let's go. Eighteen thousand men. He has two thousand. Fuck. Your casualties: two hundred. There's four. Oh, dude, it's grind, man. It's fucking grind. It's really freaking pissing me off. It's been fun except for trying to take a city. It's fucking ridiculous. Oh, work, work on this guy's modders, please. Fix this. Should be an easier way to do this. I have 18,000 soldiers and he only has 2,000. No, come on now. Those cities are pretty strong, man. 
No, I don't have artillery. Uh, Quincy, these guys are just going up one ladder and it exceeds the city. Yeah, I mean, it's uh. That's what's the good thing about Banner, Banner Lord, is they're gonna make more than just one entry point. Good. Just get those glasses, kid. No, no, no. These guys are going up one ladder, Quincy. Oh, they're going up one ladder. Uh, go to. Go to uh, Twitch and type in Cowboy Big B, and then you can watch my frustration. Get off of me, skeletons. So I can do it. I will. Back off. Back off. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, you pieces of shit. Okay. There we go. Try this again. Cover me. Excuse me. Uh, when they're screaming, I can barely hear anything. Uh, options. Um, let's turn it down a little bit more. Done. All right. What was that? Is there a problem in vanilla? Mountain Blade? Ah, uh, vanilla. Vanilla would... Vanilla's a little bit easier because you can actually upgrade your troops. Like, in this Necromancer mod, I can't upgrade my skeletons. So, like, pretty much, like, tier 1 skeletons are going up against friggin' strong-ass, uh... veterans. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. Get in there. So I'm like the only one that can actually like, actually do damage, but just can't get in there without dying. Uh, jump, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, I'm dead. Watch. Now I always see swimming in. Motherfucker. Tricks. Stop killing me. Oh, such a battlefield. Hmm? Mm-mm. I'm not in that battle no, for one One more time, Jess. One more time. Uh, see, look. I mean, look. i uh, leave. Look, man, I got friggin' 22,000 troops, and he has 2,000. 2,000! I can't kill him. Let's get tight. You gotta go big brain. Fight him in the open field. Yeah, this is Garrison though, so. Driving me crazy. Go around him. <laughs> well, yeah, the whole. Yeah, I wish I could, but I have. You have 90 days. This is me down here to take over everything. <laughs> and so, I've been trying, but I've yet to take out a city. It's pissing me off. And uh, you can make these corrupted lands. So, like, none of these none of these nations have any more uh, generals because mm -hmm. they all work for me. Pretty much the only thing that's whooping my butt is the freaking garrisons. And it's driving me crazy. Mm -mm. Okay, let me in here, guys. Okay, skeletons, let's do this. We can do it this time. Oh, no, not if I fall off the ladder. This game looks ghetto as shit, because it's only one ladder. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, I mean, all the Mountain Blades is only, has always ever been one entry point. But, uh, that's what they're, that's why they're, like, in Banner Lore, they're going, like, hardcore. Make it, like, siege weapons that you can actually use, and... All kinds of cool stuff, so it should be a little bit more interesting. Oh, freeze up the cities to get demolished. 
Yes, yes, yes. Instead of like this right here where you're like trying to freaking go into one area. Get out, get out the way, troops. But I can give all these troops uh, commands. Dude, I love that. Lord. It's freaking awesome. Like right now there's a... Oh yeah, there's only 150 troops in this battle. Uh, the new Banner Lord's gonna have, I think, a thousand, so he could do like 500 on each side. That would be cool, too. See? What the fudge? No! Why did I get knocked off? I'm shot full of arrows, because my friggin' dude doesn't have a shield. Ugh. Get in there. Kind of an easier way to take these cities. Because even if I take this city, I'm only going to kill like 300 of them. So that means there's 1,700 left. So I have to do all this shit again like five times? Oh, that's bullshit. After this, and I'll play Battle for Five, Byron, if I don't get the city. Driving me crazy. Fall back. Shoot him up from the arrows. Move. Let me in there first. I got the weapon that can do damage. Y'all can't do crap. You suck. Charge! Shoot, 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 shoot. So how can you reach me? I've got a sword. Frick. in open field battles? Dude, this game's so much fun. I can use spells, but they don't let me use spells or anything in these sieges. It's just like a grind. Finally breaking through a little bit. Regardless. Now you know who to burn. too hard. Just gotta get better. I believe in you. They killed 77 of us and we only killed 31 of them. <sighs> no, no, no. Come back. Two to one ratio isn't that bad. Yeah, but see, I should just monkey stop them. They have 2,800 guys. I have 22,000 soldiers. 22,000. I should just instantly crush them. It's because you're going up one ladder, Big D. Yeah, I need to find... Which city? Uh, there was one city, I think it was this one. I can actually, like, have more than one entrance. Let's crush this place. <laughs> UG. You... Why? And let's attack this place. And then let's play Battlefield 5. Kick their asses. Oh, see, this is the open field battle. Oh. Battle advantage. Yeah, let's slam Battlefield. Let's cast some spells. Alright. 
Alright, let's get in there. Kill them, boys. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, get their ass. Get in there, soldiers. Oh, you're about to swarm. Bye bye. <laughs> Is Maudir still playing Total War? Ooh, you're playing Steel Division, you're playing 1v1. Oh, they're playing 1v1s in Steel Division? Good luck, Helljumper. <laughs> What's that dude's name? I can't read it. Panzer Jerry. Panzer Jerry. Yeah. Odd choice. They're going, uh... The 5th SS. Fifth SS is best. I thought it would be the Sturm. No. No? I thought they're the ult the, the optimal one to do one deck. the advantage in the pants.
Shoot him up. Pricks. Ouch. Kill everything he has now. Come on, boys. Get him. See, I don't understand the whole Jeep Rush bullshit. It doesn't fucking work. Well, that's because all scrubs in it. You can't just rush them. Because then you'll lose. <laughs> you wanna get to a better position so you know fight them off. Yeah, well look, you done pop the smoke. Congratulations, you're losing everything the fans are gonna do. This guy's a scrub, what is he doing? He he has smoke on the flamethrower. He hit the B button. You could have saved a lot of troops and a lot of points. But that's the idea. Is you can use a flamethrower in the lead to smoke off a uh, position, like a road. That is, you know, high risk to allow, you know, better forces to move in. You can do a lot of things with them. They're, they're not a waste of a slot. Oh, yeah? But you can't just try to push the game, you know? Go get them, skeletons. I'm trying to push the game with my skeletons. Uh, I don't like 1v1s anyways. <laughs> but, yeah, it's... Yeah, 1v1 is in still Division 2. I bet that is crazy. Why don't you uh, cue the unload? It saves a bit of time. Watch you press tab and you can zoom in. Let me shift. Again. The thing is, he has zero tanks that could counter my tanks, aside from that one plane. <laughs> yeah, he's boom. I don't know the max up as I'm not familiar with all the newer decks.
What the? Okay, can try to trade exploit the uh, the gorilla. You know how you do that a lot, right? I'll jump up. Top for you. I take a talisman as yours. What? Playing Battlefield Big B or no? Yeah. Finally well, taking a freaking C. They beat him. It was good work. I know. Finally. God bless God, America. Beat him like a redhead stepchild. Mm. We did it, boys. We did it. Yay! I like this. Hey, try to. Per you can use a splash time from the gorilla to, you know, probably hit those tanks. Hey guys, I about the backseat game. Excuse me. Hey, Chris. What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, trying to reorganize all of my Twitch and YouTube channels. Get ready for this stream fest. Stream? What you stream? Yeah, dude. As soon as I get my computer, we're playing games and streaming. Oh yeah. Don't you know? Don't you know, bud? 
don't don't you know the the there's gonna be World War Three before that? <laughs> I hope not, Byron. But if it happens, when you keep talking, you keep talking that there is coming. Well, of course, you always prepare for the worst and you hope for the best. You don't just fucking act like it's. And then when it happens, you're like, oh my god. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't be scared. Fuck the police. I, that's how I plan for everything in life, man. I look at the first, and I work back from there. And then I hope that the best happens. The only thing that really surprises me anymore is when I plan for the worst and something worse happens. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, yeah. that, you know what that means? That means that I didn't. Didn't plan for it. It just happened. <laughs> Big B, sounds like you got issues. What? You curling up your food. Oh. I saw the shit I ate earlier today, dude. I ate so much food, it's crazy. Oh, I bet you I bet you it comes up your throat almost all the way and then Oh it does. Like, you just nibble on it a little bit and you just re swallow it, man. Just help it go back down easier. No, That's usually gross. when I make that noise I have my food my food comes up. Chris that's gross. Oh yeah, it's coming up, bro. It's, yeah, you know, you just swallow it back down. Oh my <laughs> it's delicious. Mm-hmm. Second time, dude. You don't have to oh, chew as no, much. I hate that when that happens. The S is just in. Dude, I'm liking this music. Oh shit. Oh, I missed me, bitch. Where's my company Heroes 3? No. Oh yeah, you want that Company Heroes 3. You can play that as much as you play Company Heroes 2? Yeah, I have like 3,000 hours in it. Yeah. Nice. Dude, get your YouTube channel going, man. That could be your new, could be your new job. No. No, no, you never know. Look at Raptor. He doesn't work no more. Raptor's gay. <laughs> He's gay with money. Then he gets to play video games for a living. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, if that's gay, sign me up. He's not good at the games he plays. He is not, man. dude. He drives me crazy, some of the games he plays. I'm like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? But he's got thousands of viewers, and that's paying his bills. So, more power to him, man. More than I have. I'll be okay, Big B. <laughs> yeah, fuel fast. Yay! 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 Gold jumper, you did it. You used the T button. You beat the game. My name's Opie.
cracking a beer, Big B? Did he win that 1v1, my dear? Cracking a beer, Big B? Oh, yeah, dude. Getting ready for some better. Oh, oh. doesn't get kicked out after 15 minutes. Hmm? We're playing Battlefield now? Yeah. So this battle's over. Oh, let me know when it's over. It's almost over. I'm kicking this dude's ass. Cracked another beer, big beer? Mm-hmm. You know me, dog. You know me, dog. How many beers is that? Uh, a lot tonight. Well, I started drinking like at three when I went to that crawfish bowl. Is there snow where you live? Dude, I live in Texas. What is snow? <laughs> I do not know the snow you talk about. Get out the way, horse! Damn it! Cost me a kill! It's my kill. Oh! Off with his head! Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? I'm not, I'm not watching it. Rolling. Oh, I'm talking to my YouTubers. When I post this, damn, it's a two hour long video. Yeah! Oh my god, still more troops? <sighs> this is the only thing bad. I can't wait for Banner Lord versus 500 versus 500. Battles like this end instantly. There's the little bitches. Bye bye. Oh, you stuck. See, I don't need my guys. They're all right beside me. There we go. That sucks. That sucks. Mm. Fuck me. Stop the meteor shower, you retard. Get off me, prick. You know who I am? I am the dreaded Dark Lord of Satan. That was kind of demonic right there. Kill them all. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's consumed. Nuts. Play like the humans against this micro monster spam. Yeah, I don't know a whole army of these guys. Oh, that sucks. That would have helped out. Yeah, and another one. 
bites dust, and another one bites. You follow me when I'm stuck. Not free, I'll do whatever you want to do. Well, looks like this game's just about over. <laughs> what game are you watching? The one that Helljumper's playing. Oh, is he winning? Even though it's 1113. Kill him, Helljumper. Kill him all. Time. Is it? Are you done? Yeah. Take the ass. Now I got, me, like now got me another army back up. Yeah. You okay, Big B? Hey, hey, hey. Maybe. And save and exit. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. Tune in next time to another episode of Cowboy Big B with Cowboy Big B.